Mike Still here with starting weak side linebacker for the Bison football team, Nick Thomas. Nick Thomas, man, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing real great. Thank, Thank you very much, man. You're a bit of a late bloomer to the sport of football. You played yeah. in rugby all through your career, man. Yeah. Uh, describe to me some of the aspects of rugby you were able to transition to football, because you were a flanker. I think mm, that yeah. somebody that helps, with, you know, is key with tackling. Yeah. Like the flanker, you gotta be like, it's like the tougher dudes, it's like, it's a forward. So mm. you really gotta like bring the physicality of like the game and like kind of translates over to football. There is that receiver sweep once again to Philpott, turns the corner, cuts it up, gets blasted at the 20 yard line. That is a big league hit. The In terms of your rugby career, you were hoping maybe to originally go to university, maybe do Team Canada rugby, but yeah. there are more opportunities yeah. for football, which yeah. sort of led you here. Um, what have you enjoyed the most about playing football since you started, you know, I guess over three or four years mm -hmm. ago now? I just really love like team sports. like. I love like the bonds you make and like the brotherhood of it. And I also I love the, the game, like the physical part of it. Obviously, I love hitting. Like, yeah, you bring uh, up a great point there about yeah. hitting. Um, as the weak side linebacker, you know, a big big thing that you do is yeah. just fly around the ball, yeah. make tackles, obviously. Yeah. Um, and you hit hard, probably oh, yeah. one of the hardest hitters on the team, man. How much does it feel good when you lay the boom down on a guy and just know that, man, I blasted him just now? I love it. Like imposing your will on another player is like a really good feeling. I want to go back to just the football rugby comparison for a second because it wasn't exactly like an easy, okay, I'm just going to go play mm -hmm. high school football. There yeah. was no football program yeah. for you down in Surrey, yeah. uh, where you're from. So you did the 15 minute drive to Langley to play yeah. for the Langley Stampeders. Uh, how fun was that first year of football for you? Because obviously it made an impact on yeah. your life. It was really fun. I was just out there flying around. I didn't really know the game too much, but like it was just, it was really fun. Like, new sport, flying around, got a helmet, pads on. It's great. You've been out a few years now with the Bisons. You've worked your way up oh, to yeah. a starting position with this team. Does it feel like home to you now? How do you sort of uh, sort of break down your, your off season versus regular season in terms of when you're here and when you're not here? Funny, we were coming back from the airport when we were getting back from Calgary, and I was like, oh, it's nice to be home. So <laughs> it's like it's like almost like a home away from home for me now. So I go back in the wintertime for Christmas break. I go see family back in BC. And in the summer, this summer I'll be staying here, like training with the team more, but like I went back to work big last summer. And so, yeah, it's great. It's like a home away from home now. I mean, do you still keep up with the rugby? Do you still have, you know, fans you contact or like just the game? Do you still try to follow it? Or? Yeah, uh, my coach actually, my, uh, one of my high school coaches actually in the summer, he hit me up asking if I wanted to play the guerrilla rugby for like a club team back in BC. But well, I was busy at the time, so I didn't. But. Like, that's for sure it's going to be a thing I'll eat after football. It's definitely something I'm going to go back to. Yeah, I mean, the, sure. certainly rugby is a sport you can sort of continue with. Yeah, yeah. long term, absolutely, mm -hmm. no doubt, man. I appreciate your time here today, yeah. and all the best, man. Thanks, Mike. What's up, Bison fans? Our homecoming game is Saturday, September 21st at 2 p.m., and we want to see our fans fill in those seats. You can find ticket info on gobisons.ca.